To other headlines now, we have a verdict tonight in a Colorado Springs case that goes back more than a decade. Today, a jury found Joel Hollendorfer guilty of manslaughter in the death of 19-year-old Cara Nichols. Cara's family outraged by the outcome, saying it's not nearly enough for what he took away from them. Carity on News Channel 13's Barbara Fox is live in our newsroom tonight with more on what they had to say after the verdict. Barbara. Bert, Heather, Joel Hollendorfer will spend a lot less time in prison after being convicted of manslaughter in this case. At one point, he had been facing first-degree murder. The family of Carl Nichols now saying the decision has only added to their heartbreak. We are devastated at this verdict. Absolutely devastated. Dumbfounded. We do not understand it. The family and friends of Carl Nichols hugging and crying after hearing that an El Paso County jury has convicted Joel Hollendorfer of manslaughter. We're all traumatized again. Hollendorfer was originally charged with second degree murder before having his charge upgraded to first degree murder in February of 2022. Today's manslaughter verdict now means a drastically reduced prison sentence. We're looking at two to six years, probably two years because of this justice system here. He's already served a year and a half in prison. That means he'll be out in just a few months. Lock up your children. Lock up your women. This place is a disaster. Detectives investigating Kara's 2012 disappearance were able to link her to Hollendorfer through phone records. Detectives think he answered an ad at the time, appearing to show Nichols as an escort. He was questioned in 2013, but nothing came of it. It wasn't until his ex-wife came forward years later, telling detectives that he had given her a confession, though he said it was accidental. With the new information, investigators were able to find her body in February of 2022, buried three to four feet underground over a previous horse grave at his parents' property in Black Forest. My daughter was treated like trash. Her family questioning why he would take such horrible actions after a supposed accident. And apparently the jury felt that what he did was okay. A small slap on the wrist is sufficient. Hollendorfer will be sentenced at a later date. First, though, they'll be hearing in, in July to determine if the court can sentence him under the guidelines for habitual offenders. Reporting live in the newsroom, Barbara Fox, KRDO, News Channel 13.